In this video, we're going to talk about how we can add a page to our Moodle course. So um, notice that I have my editing turned on and I'm going to scroll down to my third unit here and I'm going to add a page where I can give a lecture or provide an overview to the unit. So I'm going to click on add a resource and I'm going to choose page. So this is the tool that I can edit the page with. So I'm going to name this page creativity. Now immediately below the name box is a box for a description of this page. You can leave this um, entirely blank. It won't show on your page. So I'm going to just um, ignore that for now. And I'm going to go down to the page content. And I'm going to start editing my page here. So the first thing I'd like to do is add an image to my page. And I do that by clicking on the little image tool up here at the top. So I'll click on that. And what I want to do is add an image that I've found on the web. So I'm going to go to my image and this is the picture I want. Now to get this picture I need to actually have this picture on a page by itself. So I'm going to control click on this picture or right click if I were on a PC and I'm going to say view image and that will allow me to see the image in its own page and up at the top if I scroll to the end, you can see it ends with .jpg. And as long as I have an image format at the end, JPG, GIF, PNG, a word like that, an extension like that, I know that I'm on the right, right site. So I'm going to highlight that address and copy it. And then I'll go back to my editing. And I'm just going to paste that URL right here in the image URL slot. There's my image. I need to give it a description and click insert. And here is my image. Now I can't really see the page very well. So I'm going to click on this little icon in the upper right hand corner to toggle into the full screen mode. And this gives me the full screen. Now I don't want a picture that's this large. I can click and I can drag it smaller. As long as I'm not making it a lot smaller, this will work just fine. If I'm doing it, um, if I have a very, very big picture and I want it smaller, I'll want to resize that in Photoshop or some other image editing program before I put it on my website. Otherwise, it'll take a long time for pages to load. But this will work for this image. And now I want a little title. So this will be the title for my page. And I have all the tools I need here to format it. So I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it very big. I'll make it a different color. Okay, so there's the top of my page. Okay, so now I want to go back into a small font size and start typing my text. So we'll just say some people say that creativity has been lost in our schools. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a paragraph of, of information to introduce my lecture materials today. And now let's say I want to put another picture in, but this time I have a picture that's on my website or on my um, computer. So I'm going to click on the add an image icon again, but this time I'm going to find or upload an image. And I'll just click the browse button find a picture on my computer, click open, upload that picture, and add my descriptive text. So there's my picture. I can click on it and center it if I prefer to have it centered on the page. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more text here. A little bit more of my lecture and now let's say I want to see say let's see what Ken Robinson has to say about creativity so now I'd like to add a video for my students to watch so I have a video over here on the TED Talks website I'd like to hear them list, list have my students listen to Sir Ken Robinson talk about creativity and on uh, the TED page I can actually take a video by um, clicking on the embed code 
down here. So I'm going to click on embed, choose the size image I want, the size of the video, and I'm going to highlight and copy the embed code. And now I'll go back to my web page and I've got the cursor where I want this. So I'm going to switch to the HTML code. This gets me into the code for the page. And down at the bottom, I'm going to paste that embed code that I just copied and click Update. And now I've got Sir Ken Robinson in my, um, on my page. Okay, whoops, didn't want to do that. I'll just highlight that line and put it back on the right. Okay, so we've got Ken Robinson. Now, we can actually embed all sorts of different um, different kinds of media on our page. As long as we've got it online and have access to the embed code, we can, um, we can put all sorts of things on our page. So let's say we have a slideshow that we'd like our students to watch. So I'm going to go back up to the web. On SlideShare, I found this uh, video on managing creative thinking skills that I think my students would really benefit from. So I want to put that on my little web page that I'm creating. So I click on Embed, and that gives me the embed code for this slideshow. So I'll just copy that embed code, go back to my web page, my Moodle page, and I've got to go back into my HTML code again, and down at the bottom, I'm going to paste the embed code and scroll down and now I've got um, I've got a slideshow so let's center that on the page okay and not the text okay okay so let's go out of our full screen mode back into our main editing page and let's just scroll to the bottom and click save and return to course Okay, so here is our creativity lecture. When our students click on it, they come to this page and here's the lecture right here. When they get to the video, they can just click on it and it will start playing for them. When they get down to the slideshow, it actually will run right here within your lecture. Now notice that I have included text in between all of these resources, tying them all together into co a cohesive story. You're not going to just list a lot of videos and things on the page, but you're actually going to build the transitional material in between those so that it all makes sense and it all ties together well. So that's all it takes. And I hope you're going to enjoy creating some lectures within your mini courses.